Dorothy in Michigan. As more movies now head online, there's a growing push to save cinemas across the country. And here to tell us about it is our friend movie critic Tom Santilli from Movie Show Plus. Hey, Tom, thank you so much for being here. Oh, it's so great to be back, Sam. How are you doing? Good. All right, let's talk about one big movie that a lot of folks have been waiting for, but the release had just been getting delayed, delayed, delayed. Yeah. Now we're learning it's streaming, isn't it? Yes, uh, and that movie, of course, is uh, the Wonder Woman sequel, Wonder Woman 1984. Uh, this movie originally was meant to come out in, back in the summer. It just kept getting delayed. And, and then it became the only real movie that, the only real big blockbuster movie that is really on the calendar uh, in 2020. What, what the news is that uh, they announced that it, it's really groundbreaking, but they're going to be putting out Wonder Woman 1984 in theaters on Christmas Day, but also simultaneously on Christmas Day, they're going to be releasing it on HBO Max. Um, this is clearly a big, huge uh, news for fans, moviegoers who are going to be able to watch Wonder Woman 1984. They've had their hearts broken with every movie from you know James Bond, you know, to <laughs> Black Widow, all these other movies getting moved off the calendar completely. Uh, but yeah, simultaneously, they're going to be coming out on Christmas Day uh, if theaters are willing to play it or able to play it. And, you know, let's talk about um, what's happening here in Michigan. We're in the middle of a three-week pause. Movie theaters, yep. again, are closed. So what are you seeing trends-wise, and how can we support these local theaters? So yeah, there's uh, there's an organization called NATO, the National Association of Theater Owners, and uh, they have put together a drive called Save Your Cinema. Uh, you can go to SaveYourCinema.com uh, or hashtag Save Your Cinema. What they're doing, it's not trying to ask for money. They're not trying to fundraise or, or anything like that. What they're doing is they're trying to have a, a push, uh, really, to Congress uh, to like write letters and that sort of thing. So if you go to their website, they have a little form that you can easily send off to kind of show your support for, for local cinemas. And uh, really that's all that they can do at this point. I mean, uh, other than that, they're at the will of the virus. And uh, let's go back talking a little bit about movies. There's an animated film that my kids are excited to see that's <laughs> streaming. Tell me about this. I really, uh, is it a good movie, Crudes too? Roots 2 is a good movie if you, you know, relatively speaking. It's an I animated film. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's one of those films that, you know, it's not going to be a, a classic. It's not going to be a legendary film, but it is a, one of those films like the first Croods where I think adults will get some of the humor, you know, and that sort of thing. But uh, Croods, uh, I actually got to speak with the director of the film, Joel Crawford. The film is not opening yet in Michigan, but when theaters reopen, hopefully on December 8th, after the three-week pause, Croods 2 is probably going to be the only film in theaters uh, that people can see. But anyway, uh, here's a little bit of my, my interview with Joel Crawford, the director of Croods, A New Age. So I've been on this movie for three years. It's been a wonderful uh, experience. I've worked with some of the, the, the best artists in the world <laughs> in DreamWorks and, sure. and had so much fun doing it, even despite, you know, 2020. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's, I gotta say what's, what's exciting for me is the tone of this movie, the, the laughter, the joy, the positive message. Yeah. Um, although not the ideal way to roll it out, um, I'm so excited for people to experience it because 2020 needs a, a bit of joy. <laughs> Yeah, 2020 does need some joy. Now, uh, <laughs> okay, so my kids like Croods. I didn't get into the first one. Maybe the second one will, will uh, well, win me and, over. And that, that film, too, uh, by the way, is, is not only in theaters. You know, it's not in Michigan right now, but it's actually supposed to be uh, on streaming by Christmas. So hopefully you and your, your children will be able to enjoy it uh, before the holidays. And, Tom, real quick before we run out of time, what are some great things to stream today or maybe even tomorrow during the snow day? <laughs> wow. Well, right now, uh, there's a really good movie that came out last week called, uh, starring Paul Bettany. Uh, it's called Uncle Frank. That's a really good film. There's a couple good ones coming out next weekend. Uh, a film called Mank is coming to Netflix, uh, as well as a movie called The Sound of Metal. And Francis McDormand in Nomadland uh, opens as well. Uh, which is a huge Oscar buzzy movie that people can check out. All right, Tom Santilli of Movie Show Plus, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, and you can get more information on movieshowplus.com. Thanks so much, Tom. Thanks for having me. All right, we'll be right back. At Michael Bay Chevrolet, we've got the